Okay, welcome to Don't Travel Empty version 7.1. Now, rather than skipping from versions 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8, etc., we're releasing um, less um, less features uh, in a more frequent uh, order. So we're going from 7 now to 7.1 and then 7.2. And the more people that are using the Coach Rebels module daily to manage their business, uh, the more we find that um, they're asking us for, you know, a few tweets here and there. So we respond. So straight away, when you come to Don't Travel Empty Now and you hover over the Manage tab, then you'll see that although we now have even more features and benefits um, and um, functionality, the list is now shorter because we've condensed it into uh, areas. So for example, if you click on Setup, you will see that from here, this is where you control, create, edit, delete, etc. your customers, your drivers, your vehicles, your vehicle types and your depots, all nice and neat in one place. If we now come down to uh, diaries, you will see that we've gone from uh, diary to diaries and the daily diary is still the same. This is where you manage your uh, bookings. This is where you will allocate your drivers and your vehicles and you have access to the paperwork and editing the job, etc. from here. We also now have a weekly diary and a monthly diary. So if you're in the office, it's really busy and somebody takes a phone call and says, quick, can we do a job next Wednesday? Um, it's very quickly. You can just now go to the weekly diary. I'll actually change to June because this being the test site, we haven't got a huge amount of data on these days. So I'll show you what we mean. Go to June and you'll see that um, although it says job month diary monthly up there, bear in mind this is a test site. So we're just giving you a sneak preview that you can see on any given day how many vehicles you've got out. And the more vehicles you add and the more jobs you take, the bigger this page becomes. And it's worth remembering that this is a great visual representation because the green represents an empty leg. So your vehicle traveling from A to B with no passengers on board or maybe from B back to A again. Uh, the blue is actually when the vehicle has passengers on and the red represents when the vehicle is stationary uh, in between dropping passengers off and picking them up again. So straight away, these, these are these are uh, test jobs, but they're fairly um, representative of the kind of jobs that a coach operator may take. And you can see straight away there's a huge amount of availability um, and dead time and dead mileage. Effectively, these blues are the bits we're being paid for. And these are where the vehicles are just sitting doing nothing, really, or, or moving from A to B with no passengers on board. And if you click over each individual uh, leg of the journey, you'll get the information. This is an empty leg going from Chroma down to Bath, 16 seater. Um, if we click on the blue leg, then we've got uh, the full leg. Then if you click on the red, then you have the available vehicle. So it's a really quick, clear, concise representation of how busy you are on any given day. And the monthly diary um, is is just another uh, another take on that. And again, we'll go to June because that's where you get a good idea of uh, each particular day, and you can you can see the diary and um, quickly. Yes, we can do a job on that day, or no, we can't because we're t we're too busy. So here we've got the the um, job diary for the monthly this is in june and it shows every day of the month as we scroll down and you can see very quickly just how busy you are you know obviously a few days a few jobs here nothing on the 13th and here yeah a bit busier and again the more jobs you take the the diary just keeps extending and you can see very quickly how busy you are it works exactly the same you click on there and it shows you the particular leg of the journey and if you show click on here then it will show you the um, um, available vehicles. So you get a good representation again of how um, how busy you are on any given day. And then finally, uh, actually, no, sorry, not finally, we've got two more things yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. From the new search job stroke quote section where we've, we've bundled jobs and quotes together, you've got the ability to search for confirmed jobs that are in the future, um, email, edits, uh, all the confirmation letters, all the paperwork, control everything from there. Um, but we've also got now a duplicity button. So if a, a customer comes to you and they book a, um, a job, and you need to create uh, an additional one, they may want an additional vehicle, then rather than having to create another job, you simply find the job, and you click um, duplicate, and you can come into the into the actual booking you can change the size of the vehicle you can change the times you can change the locations if you want to you can change the uh, cost and then you can save it as a confirmed job and that will duplicate it you haven't got to enter all of the information all over again so that's really useful and time saving and then finally we have the search jobs and quotes facility which is really good because as people are using it more and more, then finding the information within the system needs to be fine-tuned. So we've reacted to that. And from the private hire search facility, 
all jobs in the past and in the future and in the present can be searched by every single possible permutation you can think of. Um, you can search by the customer name, the job reference, the date the job's going, um, the location the job's going from. So the pickup, this one, for example, was Bristol. If you type that in Bristol, all jobs that started from Bristol would be displayed. The drop-off on this one is Southampton. You typed in Southampton, all the jobs that went to Southampton would be there. Uh, the price of the trip and even the day added and you can do exactly the same with the quote search so if a customer phoned you up and said i had a quote from you three months ago going from you know, a to b and that's literally all the information that you've got you can either search for the um, um the date that it was added if they can remember that the date the job's going the customer name and um, type in where they're going from let's say chroma or they're going to stanford and it brings it all up and it narrows the search down so some really nice little what we would call icing on the cake tweaks there to make using the coach records module even more beneficial.